YouTubers, Joe Kersey here on, uh, well, actually, it's Monday, September 10th, 2018 at 0, 2.30 in the morning, Eastern Time, U.S. Of course, that's daylight saving. Uh, yes, I suppose if I were doing it tomorrow, I'd have to say, oh, it's September 11th, and go into a whole thing about, oh, September 11th, oh, the day that changed everything. And it did, it did, actually, it really did, in uh, a lot of ways. And, uh, well, it's not September 11th, it's September 10th. So God bless us, everyone. Believe it or not, I have been to bed br briefly. And then woke up, and then I realized I had this steak that Liz had brought over earlier in the evening, and uh, she and I had skyped with. I think I think at this time it was just down to Tony Ballman. I don't know. Tony Pynchon might have been on and off intermittently too, but it was basically Tony Ballman, I think. Uh, and uh, because, you know, the longer we go on, the later it gets for Tony Pincham. And then, you know, at that point, Tony Bowman's getting into the shank of the evening, you know, since he's three hours on the other side. You know. Tony Pincham's on five hours of that way. Tony Bowman's on three hours of that way. So. Oh, I want you to notice I'm, I'm, wearing, an, I'm wearing a shirt today. Uh, my son asked me to, you know, uh, well, he didn't ask. He, he was says, put on a shirt. All right. I'll keep you happy, Thomas. <laughs> I think at this stage of my game, my, my game, I'm, if I want to walk around my house with my shirt off, I'm perfectly entitled to. Thank you very much. I know my dad did. Uh, pretty much from uh, you know the you know when he wasn't in school starting about mid spring until mid fall he was walking around with shirt off you know like that or not that's what he did you know the man owned his house he behaved the way he wanted to <laughs> God bless my dad. I've never said this before. I may as well say it. I, I may as well say it tonight. When I was a kid, uh, I was, you know, I was a fat little fucking tail. You know, I don't, you know, starting about the age of like from, I started putting on weight when I was about five. Well, you know, my mother giving me ice cream every damn night didn't help. You know. I'm not saying that caused it. I'm just saying that's what happened. That was part of what was going on. And I blew up when I was, uh, I think, it was about the time I was nine or between, well, nine, I was in, well, by the time I was 12, let's put it that way, I was 180 pounds and I wasn't, I hadn't reached my full growth. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm just a hair under five, nine now. Uh, actually, I was actually five nine. And I shrunk. You know, you get as you get older, you shrink. You know? And uh, uh, when I was nine, uh, my dad made would make started making fun of my how I looked. You know, not my face, but just you know my general unclothed habitus, bod bodily habitus. You know. Not my physiognomy, that generally refers to face, but my habitus. And so I, I rarely ever appeared undressed in anybody, in front of anybody, except the very, very, very few people I ever actually, you know, was getting ready to go to bed with and do anything with. Uh, until very late in my life. Oh no, he and Drew would sit out there in the side yard and make fun of me. I never, I never, I never, I've never mentioned that to anybody before. You guys get to hear it the first time. How's that? 
nonetheless, I still really love my dad. That was a, that's probably the one thing he did I really wish he hadn't done. You know, everybody, you know, everybody gets a few, you know, freebies, you know. No, I go to one of these fucking, you know, standard, you know, now de rigueur, you know, body image bullshit riffs that YouTubers do. You know, people look the way they look, you know. Now, I mean, yeah, some people can do a little something to change it, but I don't know. I mean, don't feed, don't feed me a fucking dish of ice cream every night, you know. Don't give me a fucking, you know, Pepsi full of ice cream, uh, you know. While I sit in front of the TV and read, you know, in the evening when I'm a kid. Don't do that. How's that? You know? You know, guys, we didn't have, we didn't have a lot. You know, we had enough, but we didn't have a lot. And uh, if somebody's going to give you something to eat, by God, by God, you eat it, you know? That's just all very short. You know, never refuse anything you can eat, drink, or carry away. You know, be like, be like uh, how should we say, uh, certain ethnic groups at anesthesia meetings that when the free buffet is laid out, you know, it's like, it's like, there's, they swarm in sort of like, and the food's gone. I mean, the food's gone. You get there three minutes after the time the thing starts, the food's gone. Because they brought in their entire family. It's like, it's like rats. You know, huge waves of people come in. It's like, it's like, it's like line engine and the ants. You know, it's like. <laughs> yeah, so. Uh, I guess now I feel. Comfortable enough to walk around with my shirt on. <laughs> okay, well, have fun with that. Either way, guys, whoever you are, wherever you are. So, uh, I didn't go up to church today uh, to hear or see or interact with the bishop in his green, shiny green emerald ash beetle alb, or sit at the potluck while he did a, quote, teaching, unquote. The bishop likes to do a teaching, as our interim rector says. Oh, well, maybe he does. I mean, I think he does. I mean, I have, you know, I've been around the guy enough that I've, you know, the guy does kind of like to do these little, from time to time. Uh, I've pretty much, the bishop's pretty much shot his wad with me uh, as far as, uh, you know, I didn't care for him at first. Then I kind of warmed up to him, you know, he, he got rid of a lot of his arrogance and, and then now he's, now, now it's come back. And apparently, you know, I told you, I said, when we had, you know, the last two people we had come in and seriously interview, you know. One of them wanted to say, one of them said that she'd be very willing to take the position, but she wanted to meet the bishop first. And so she went down and they, they can the bishop meet her. And the bishop said, yeah. And she went down and met the bishop. She says, I don't want part of this. You know, <laughs> it's like, well, honey, you know, I can tell you right now, you know, honey, I agree with you. I mean, I can see why you said that. I doubt it seriously had anything to do with race, class, and gender, and white male patriarchy. I think it just had to do with the bishop's arrogant. I know more about it, and screw you, be in your place personality. So much for that pastoral attitude. Anyway, I didn't go up there, so maybe I'm just talking to my hat. Uh, I understand that some people have had trouble getting the uh, that website uh, that I set up the other day 
to open up uh, I you know, of course now maybe it's because I set it up and I'm doing it from the same computer I haven't tried to do it from my other computer yet but uh, uh, you know when I type in the you know, partners in prayer list St. Peters dot com in the you know, you know the the address bar, you know, the top of a browser, it comes right up for me. Now, I mean, I may be wrong. I mean, it, you know, maybe there's something fundamentally that I've not done yet. Uh, my administrator sites work on both my websites. Uh, so maybe there's something I'm, you know, I mean, I, I don't pretend to be an expert in this by any means. Okay, well, if anybody has trouble looking at that, if they want, if they care to look at it, let me know. I don't know what I can do other than just, uh, I suppose I could just delete the thing and reset it up. Although I've already paid, <laughs> I've already paid the $100 for two years. <laughs> oh, man. Well... It's up to 56 degrees outside. The little fan you hear running is the actual, actually an heat, a heater running. I've had the heater running all day in the house. I mean, it was, you know, it's damp. You know, we've had rain here. Uh, now it stopped raining here around uh, uh, about 2 in the afternoon. Well, 2.30, 3 in the afternoon, uh, finally. Of course, there's water in the basement. But it's actually not as deep as it was earlier this morning. Well, yesterday morning, actually. Now, now, now that we're in the Monday, uh, so you know, things go on, things happen. Oh, my son also informed me in his little remark, uh, telling me to put a shirt on, uh, that dehumidifiers are two hundred fifty dollars. Well, maybe they have come down. I mean, I haven't really, honestly, priced them for around, you know. 15 years. Um, maybe they are down that low now. He didn't He didn't offer any remarks on how that $250 dehumidifier is going to get down that basement given the way I walk or don't walk at times or climb stairs or don't climb stairs at times. He didn't offer any idea about how he's going to get the other one up either. Oh, oh no, how somebody else is going to get the other one out. Because it's got, uh, not going to be me. Now, I mean, I've got like a graveyard of dehumidifiers down there. I mean, I've got I've got a couple of them. Lined, I've got about three of them lined up against the wall. Down the, down the. You know, sometimes it just, just pays to just cut your losses and stop, you know, farting into the whirlwind. You know. Don't fart into the whirlwind. Don't piss into the wind. <laughs> I tried that once, just to see if the advice was true, and it's true. You end up with soaked pants. <laughs> Few laughs, but soaked pants, nonetheless. All right. Okay. Well, as I said, so I uh, talked with uh, the two Tonys this afternoon. Uh, Tony Pinch and I talked for a while, and then I was surprised that Tony Ballman chimed in. He chimed in, and uh, I thought he'd still be out doing his sort of on-site research. And uh, he sent a couple of really neat pictures, uh, one in particular, uh, from uh, this museum uh, at the in the town in which he'll be living. Well, well he's going to live. He's in. It's a, it's a museum in Tucson, and uh, it's one of the Bartolomeo. Uh, it's the uh, you know Christ in the temple with the scholars. You know when he's twelve and he's giving him a ration of either wisdom or crap. One way or the other, you know. I was like, I was like, Mary giving him the ration. Uh, you know, what? Where have you been? You, your dad and I have been so worried. 
you know, Jesus says, yeah, yeah, you know, don't you know what I'm, I'm about my father's business? <laughs> Luke tells it. Luke always tells a good story about that kind of stuff. Well, of course, the other, my other favorite, you know, sort of mother story about Jesus and his mother is that the wine, the wine and the wedding thing in John chapter two. You know, it's like Jesus. Stay out of the way. Do something. <laughs> he says, my time is not yet, woman. <laughs> and then he goes ahead and changes the water into wine anyway. <laughs> I, was, I love that. Jesus. Stay out of the way. Do Mothers and sons alike. Everywhere, all the time. <laughs> Even when one of them is the mixture of the human and divine. <laughs> Whether the other one's the ever-blessed virgin, I can't speak to that. I mean, she was a virgin up to the time she had Jesus. I don't think she was a virgin after she had his brothers and sisters. But, you know, people will differ over that one. <laughs> you can call it blessed if you want, that's fine. She had, she had to put up a lot of crap. Most mothers do. I know my mother did. <laughs> I'll tell you what, sons sometimes had to put up a lot of crap, too. I know I did. Well, okay. Well, anyway, so I was uh, so. Uh, meanwhile, Liz called while we were uh, skyping, and she came over. She brought brought a piece of uh, some nice pieces of meat that uh, Henry cooked, and uh, uh, and by golly, they weren't they weren't overcooked. They were well, they were overcooked by my taste, but not not overcooked by pretty much you know ninety eight percent of the population's taste. Uh, uh, no, they were actually quite. There was even some juice in them, and uh, and and I'm damn grateful to have had them. And in fact, I, in fact, I woke up and I discovered them, and I said, "Oh, I I forgot to eat these." So I I finished these these off before I started talking with y'all. Well, and 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 and, and then I, then after I finished them off, I put on my shirt so that. That would make my son happy. <laughs> Gotta keep the natives happy. <laughs> I don't know the rain may have stopped in time for Carter to have his soccer game on Sunday. Uh, if they had one today. They generally have them on Sunday afternoons out at St. Catharines. Uh, I assume that's what I don't know. Maybe they're not. Maybe they're not a, his school every uh, every Sunday. Maybe they switch around. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, if there was one this afternoon, the rain stopped in time for him to have it. Feel would be soggy, but probably playable. You know, what I mean, I mean, you know, they're they're ten year old kids. It's not like when they fall down, they're going to you know have a lot of impact. Man, he's a fast little guy. Wow. I've never been that fast in my life. I don't think I ever want to be either, frankly. Okay, well, I think I've covered pretty much now. i got to write some estimated tax checks for the feds and the state today, later, well, later today. Uh, of course, now I'm debating whether you bother to go to bed. Maybe I'll just make some coffee or something. Um, I've got to run a couple of errands. I've got, a little, I've got to buy some more jalapenos and hot sauce. 
Um, I think I've got another jar of pickles. If not, I need to buy another jar of pickles, too. Uh, excuse me. Okay, well, I'll have to take stock. I like my shirt. I've got my shirt on. I'll, I'll let that go eventually. It's just so much fun. So I'll say bye-bye, YouTube.